Hello team, we're going to look at aero strippers, so let's hope we've got the right audience. So what are aero strippers? They are thigh pads, they're new into the market, or at least when he says new, it's sort of last 10, 15 years, they've been, been around, you can actually strap these things on. Aero have been, I would say, the leading company in this area. Um, all the other manufacturers are now sort of, uh, well, and now, the last four or five years have been sort of copying in a sort of variety of different ways how they do it and what they do. So we probably ought to take a little look in and sort of go for it, haven't we? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. So first up, we've got we've got the old P3s. Um, so the reason Aero are very good is they've got quite a funky design. Um, it allows you to run between the wickets a little bit more comfortably. Everything's sort of stuck around the waistband. You can play sweep shots. You can get forward and it offers you a high level of protection. One of the other benefits is uh, you've got a outer thigh pad and an inner thigh pad all connected together. Um, so you've just, it's kind of just put it all in one place um, and it gives you lots of fixing options too. Um, here on the front, the front thigh, you've got a thigh pad, particularly strong thigh pad, good foam density here. Um, and at the top you've got a two-piece where again it's quite flexible and that sits up, up sits up on the hip so you're getting a lot of body parts mm. covered I think traditionally with thigh pads you just used to have just the, one the thigh pad yeah, and it, it would be a strap around so you're getting almost three pieces of protection um, in one unit um, that extra bit on the hip uh, really good protection because that's really quite a bony part of your body and when you get a all well, on there. That it does really hurt. Does. If you get there, that that does hurt. It's not funny. Um, so lots of protection. Suitable. Um, suitable for speeds up to 65 miles an hour. So so P3s. P3s. Yeah. But it, in the P3, they only come in junior sizes as well. So it's either you're looking at extra small or double extra small. So here you've got the sizes that you can get. To suit. And of course, just to suit. So. Suitable for juniors, certainly suitable for all cricket juniors are playing in terms of speeds that, that, it, that it goes up to. The real challenge with the strippers, if you've never had a pair before, is putting them on for the first time. So uh, whilst we're doing this, Rich has kindly offered with the help- I've never, I've never worn these. <laughs> we're, 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 Why didn't he let me do this? You should, no. they're good. Oh no. Um, with the help of Luke over here, we're gonna show you how to do them. Hi Luke. So. Please be gentle. Starting point is to take the waistband um, and get that secured nicely. It's going to be in and around your sort of trouser waist waistband level. We can then see that the, the, the hip protector sits nicely on the hip to give you that added extra protection that you wouldn't normally get in a normal thigh pad. Um, Rich is then doing the individual straps up on the inner thigh and now he's moving, moving to the, to the outer thigh, thigh team. Yeah, on the way around. And again, it just offers even more sort of I suppose comfort really, because it just it fits everything in. I was hiding behind the loop then, Tim. So uh, yeah, it just offers a little bit more comfort because it fits everything into the leg. You wear it inside your trousers. Please remember to wear them inside your trousers. Oh, mm. Mm. It's, a, it's a bugbear of mine, a bugbear. I've seen lots of kids wear these. I've got uh, my own children wear these. They're great for movement, yeah. uh, great for uh, batting in. Enables a, a lot more flexibility when you're uh, when you're playing shots or uh, just when you're trying to run between the wickets. Uh, particularly at the very very junior ages, um, wearing a thigh pad and a pair of pads can be quite cumbersome. But that they, does they make do it. Job, they, they do do a really good job. Yeah. Job. So that's the P3s. Really suitable for juniors. Um, coming in sizes double extra small to extra small. Then as we go up through the grades. Uh, we've then got the P2s. Now, the P2s are a model very similar to the style and um, quality of the P3s. However, they come in slightly bigger versions. So this is more for adults now. You're into size from small up to extra large. Let's just show you that tape. Let's go to smalls. So you can mediums, see the on there. large, extra large. We've got a pair of mediums here. Again, you get your size guides. Mm. So that's probably going to be for youngsters, maybe aged 13, 13 14. Yeah. 
uh, than into adult sizes. The, dif the, big, the, the difference between the P2s and the P3s is actually the level of protection and the speeds that the uh, can absorb. Yeah. That, that can can absorb. So in P2s, you're looking anywhere between 65 miles an hour to 80 miles an hour. Now, I mean, that's good speeds, team, and you'll find a lot speeds. of adult cricketers could comfortably fit and use a P2, P2 stripper, and I think. But, you know, I mean, if, if I was if I was looking at one, I'd be looking at those sort of speeds. I think that's brilliant. I think for most club cricketers out there, the P2s are going to suit virtually everybody. Yeah. Um, so really good, stable product. If for those that are playing an even higher level of cricket, yeah, your so count, county academies, your, your your age group, county age group stuff, yeah, where life gets. Yeah, even at county age groups, I think you'll be fine with P2s. Yeah. Um, it's when you then get into higher levels or higher ages of county age groups to yeah, be fair. When you get into under 18 decent cricket, yeah. you're coming up against bowlers who are maybe quick enough to be clocking the 80 miles an hour mark. That's when uh, you can think about the P1s. Yes. Um, now this here. gets a little bit different Tim because this, this sort of top level um, protection does give us a little bit more to talk about. So we've got a few bits to go for here. So 80 to 100 miles an hour, um, in theory they should be bulletproof, right? Well, what else does it protect now? Because there's quite a few bits to this. Well, these are I'm a glad bit more... I didn't get this one <laughs> these, are, these are a bit more substantial. So you can already see uh, that in the thigh, it, it feels the, the, dents of the, the density of the protection, you can feel the foam there, not a lot's getting through there. Feels like it's almost reinforced as well on the front end. Um, you've also got a, uh, a slightly higher pad here that's going to give you even more further added protection. Goes around almost to your hip and your bum, doesn't it? Well, yeah, you even do get with this bit, it's so wide, you get that extra protection. bit of backside protection. Yeah. Um, if your backside's facing the bowler, you're probably in a bit of trouble already, though. To Come be fair. for a coaching session; we'll sort you out. <laughs> yeah, um, but then if some, if you're facing someone who's 85, 90 miles an hour, you can probably understand. Um, <laughs> yeah. So added protection: you not only get the uh, thigh, the hip, you also get a bit around the around the backside. Yeah, uh, you're still getting your inner thigh pad, but you are totally bulletproof uh, up to about 100 miles an hour. So if you're facing anybody over 100 miles an hour. You're probably getting paid quite nicely in the IPL or, or somewhere else, so uh, the cost of these is slightly irrelevant. Yeah. Um, but another option should you want absolute, total, guaranteed protection. Yeah. Um, so I think overall, what you're going to notice here is that One Aero have been around for a long time in this particular area. They do a really good base level bit of kit for a, for pretty much any junior cricketer out there and they do a really good job of taking that through all the way, mm. all the way through all of the, the age groups and the age levels and the playing abilities and the playing levels. And they give you all that protection that you can sort of cope with and that you need, so. I think also it's a good investment. I think the, the, the P3s, um, at some point you're gonna grow out of them, but you're gonna get two or three seasons. Yeah, I was gonna say, say, how long did your... your yeah, I think it was definitely three seasons and then, and then they're moving into, outgrowing those from a junior and then you're into P2s. Yeah. Uh, but for the majority of people, once once you get into those, you're probably not, not gonna change. So I think you've got a long-term investment there as well. Yeah, I think so. And I'd say you could easily, if you're regularly playing, you know, year in, year out, you're gonna be wearing those five to five years, 10 years. They're pretty dense. I think you're gonna get a few leg buys. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah extra, extra, extra distance. So I get half my runs. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, so as you can see, they are a bit funky to put on. So again, we'd recommend that you you come in store, have a little try of them, see how they feel. Probably try some on before once you've bought them as well. Yeah. Have a go at home trying them on before you get down to the club with your mates, and yeah. then it's your turn to bat, and you've taken ten minutes to put your thigh pads on. Yeah, that's a worth good having a little yeah. go before you. I think that's a good one. Um, definitely have a look at if you're buying online, you'll see the size guides there. They will all come up on online. Um, so we recommend you do that as well. Give yourself the best chance to, to get the right ones. Um, and other than that, we hope you've enjoyed this team. Do subscribe to more of our videos. Do give us a thumbs up. We like what we do. Hopefully you did too. Do put a little comment in the section below. We'd look forward to hearing from you. Make it clean, make it nice. Make it snappy. We'll see you soon.